everything is just sky high. Everything's going up except for your paycheck. Christmas does look different this year for us. Um, I honestly have been waiting to even go Christmas shopping. But everything is high, you know, from gas prices to grocery prices to, you know, a service getting your eyebrows, you know, threaded or going to the nail shop, which I'm about to go to. And prices continue to increase and there's no reason for it. Do you see that that's $4.98 on sale for 12 cans of soda? That is not okay. Every time I go into a grocery store, I see prices, how much they've increased, where something may have been $3.99 forever, and then all of a sudden it's almost $5. I'm just realizing that I'm either going to have to cut things out or just make my budget larger. It's taking me, if I'm like, almost on E or right at E is about $60 to fill up. So definitely feeling the punch there and just overall things are expensive. It's expensive to eat out. It's expensive to go to the grocery store. Food is expensive. Gas is expensive. I mean, but what can you do? You still have to go to work. So just kind of have to bite the bullet. COVID has put us behind the eight ball. So now we charge more for what we do we also uh have to pay uh contractors and our suppliers more money for essential services and essential products that we need to do our job well, i have heard a lot of people talking about um the supply chain issues in fact my uh stepdad who you know joked with me a lot about trump and everything because he's a trump supporter mentioned it to me about the supply chain again he was blaming biden for it i don't see it interfering with any of my uh holiday shopping or spending the prices of things usually go up anyhow around this time so in six months i would assume that prices of things will drop so we wanted to pick up some things for christmas but you can see most of the stuff's already gone they haven't gotten it you can see that there's definitely a lot of supply chain issues even if you look down the aisle you can see that there's a ton just for regular everyday stuff and it just seems to be across the store like ornaments i mean we've been here about four or five times in the past few weeks and there this is the best that has looked we were out of town um, last week, middle of last week. We drove down to, to Florida, actually went to, to Disney World. And as we were looking at some of the stores, there's, everything said limit two. Late in the afternoon, um, we were looking and trying to find something for, to buy for our niece. So we asked the guys, like, do you, we see you have Little Mermaid, do you have Elsa? And he just laughed, he said, no. And you're not gonna see it. So few things coming in and everything comes in through LA. Uh, and then is shipped or flown over to, to Florida. He said, and we've not gotten anything in recently. That's why the limit two is in place. Because if we, if we sold as much as anyone wanted to buy, we'd run out you know, this week and never get stocked back in. And we were looking and some stores were actually closed. You know, and so th th that seemed to be a bit of a stark contrast because you know, Disney is not only about the mood and the atmosphere, the rides, the food, but it's also the goods and they make a lot of money off of that. And they were actually had stores closed because they couldn't fill the shelves. 